Good morning, greetings and salutations, you guys. It's Hayden here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I am in the car with my buddy Ditto right there. He is my new driving companion. And I actually just got to my local dry cleaners because I dropped off the Louis Vuitton scarf that I thrifted the other day. So if you guys want to see that video, I'll have it linked. But it had like a little mark on it, which I wanted to get removed. I just wanted the whole thing cleaned in general. And I brought it over. They said they can do it. So let's go see how it turns out. Uh, so I'm going to go hop in really quick and then I'll pop back into the car and show you guys how it looks. All right, you guys, just got back inside the car. I have the scarf right here hanging on my door. It looks beautiful. Um, I don't know where the stain is. I'm just going to open it when I get home, though. So I'm going to wait because I'm not going home yet. I don't want it to like get wrinkled or messed up. So I'm just going to wait till we get home to open it. But right now we're going to head over to go thrifting. So let's go. All right, you guys, we're starting off here at the Goodwill in Anaheim, Lincoln, and State College. Just go inside and check it out. You guys, look at this thing. There's also like this cabinet thing. That's pretty nice. So we are in the handbag section. I'm gonna try and go through it a little bit better with you guys than I normally do. Because um, I've gotten some messages saying they want me to go through the bag slower, and I will. I just get so used to like being able to scan them really quickly that sometimes it's kind of like go over them really fast so but we're looking we're looking these are all just pleather bags oh my gosh how cute look at the little dog oh too bad it's like a little face is like kind of peeling off This one's also pleather. What's this cup? Oh, it's a unicorn. Ooh, it's a basket, but it's also furry. Interesting. Owl. What the is this? Nine West. This is like a really pretty print. This is pleather also. Gas bag. More pleather. These are Target bags. This one's, oh, I thought it was furry all the way inside, but it's not. Okay, let's look through the wallets that are hanging. These look like a lot of just like pouches. Why is this wire goose thing like pretty cool? You like cute outside or something? They also have this cool stool. This is very like cottage core, am I right? Isn't that like a really popular like style right now? Even this piece is kind of cottage core too. And this is more like modern. A little crib. Oh my gosh, this horse, oh this crib, another crib, last time I was here and went through the backpack section I found some pretty good stuff, so let's see if there's anything hidden here today, this is like honestly kind of cute. It's like a laminated fabric. Um, Andonia. The inside is pilling like intensely though. <laughs> Anything interesting?
I like the canvas to us have leather handles. I always like to look for those and pick those up. We don't see any today. They have a bunch of dog leashes, dog toys. These minties. Kind of Cat food. This is interesting. It's like craft everywhere though. This is also kind of cute. $2.99. I do love some faux botanicals. Some fake roses with fake water droplets. Magnolia branches. We got some colored duct tape. Younger me would have been like so happy. Remember we used to make everything like, we used to make duct tape wallets, remember that? Ooh, washi tape. Is this cute? With like hot air balloons. Oh no, <laughs> those are boats. Just kidding. How much are these? Two ninety nine. dollars dollar for each washi. Nail polish, clean up brush. Cork tiles. Interesting. I'm kind of obsessed with this chicken thing. It's so cute. I love the color, I think, most of all. It's very, like, fetching. Like, the color is like a beautiful lime green. Then I also see this, like, bottle. $7.99. I feel like these types of things are, like, really popular right now. You can even pop this out and put a candle in there and it would be a candlestick holder, which I think would be like a very aesthetic vibe thing right now. I'm considering getting it. I found the chicken. Someone's selling it for $23.99 on Etsy. It's really cute. I feel like that color combo is also very cool. I'm trying to see if I can find anything else that I can use to style with him. He's like such a cool, like unique kind of piece other than the green chicken, which I think is supremely cool. This is also actually very cool. Coral figurine. Oh, $12.99. That's very cool. Should I get that? These are also very interesting. I don't know what that says. Tan? P A N? They're like. What would you use these for? This is like a spoon, like a mini spoon rest? I honestly don't know. Oh my gosh, this is cool too. Render. Nineteen eighty something. Well, these are from 1975. That's kind of interesting. It looks a little haunted, but like kind of cool. I'm making it my mission to find this piece for this um, removable petal ashtray thing because it's so cute. I'm hoping I can find it sitting here somewhere. This one went for 126 on Cherish. I think this is a princess house like little mini face. It's pretty cool. So I'm looking through the glassware. See if I can find anything interesting while I'm also looking for this key. Oh, oh how cute are you? <laughs> little shrimp nine or shrimp pork. I don't know why I always check Pyrex. Like, is it vintage Pyrex? I don't know. But do you guys know that, like, Pyrex lady on, um, she's on, she's on, uh, what's that app? TikTok? And she, like, knows everything about Pyrex. I really shouldn't be looking at plates because 
I just bought a gazillion square plates the other day for my dreams came true for finding those Pottery Barn great white square plates and the matching bowls. Set of 11, you guys. Like, it was crazy. It was amazing. That's just plastic. How cute is this little plate? Uh, Riviera Van Beers. So cute with a little spoon. Oh my gosh, what is this? A fish? Oh, it's so sassy. It's like a rainbow fish. Seven bucks. That's cute. I don't know why I love like bowls too. Love bowls. I know this thing is like for pies or something, but how cute it would be to put plants on there. I'm a huge proponent of putting plants on random things that they don't normally go on. Uh, see that bowl down there? Right there? Saw that the other day. Broken. So sad because it's a really cute bowl and it matches my set of those um, hearth and hand target dishes. Oh, these are cute. They have little, little like strainers. Is that what that is? Oh, that's cool too. It has like no martinis actually. Not martinis, olives. The olives are etched with the little picks too. Okay, you guys, this is where we have to be vigilant. So this is probably the section where they would have the little things for this if they did still have them. Because this is the metal area. So, if you guys see it, let me know. Also, I do like this mirror. How much is this mirror? How much are you, sir? You are $40. Do we see the thing that we're looking for? It would be truly amazing if we found it. Not holding my breath. I kind of want to buy it just like for parts. Like if anyone finds the face and they're missing a leaf or a petal or something. But it would be so cool to find it. Over there. No. And one of those leveling things. Oh, a three-hole punch. Man, do you guys remember when, like, they came out with three-hole punches that you could put in your binder? That was, like, revolutionary for us back in the day. Is this a mirror? Oh, it is. Oh, but it's a medicine cabinet. Cool. I've never seen a medicine cabinet like that at the thrift store before. My first time. Whoa. LOL dolls. I wonder if it's empty. I'm literally searching far and wide for things for this, but while searching for it, I did find these um, Cricut Joy pens. So we can put this in the Cricut machine, which mom has, and I don't think she has any pens, so that's cool. I also found this really cute Starbucks cup. Really pretty, bubbly pink. Looks almost new. Then I found these Doc Martens, like wingtips, really fun. These are $15, so yay, yay for me. But I'm still looking <laughs> for that thing. And now I am on this side. Starbucks cup. What are we over here? Not Yetis or Hydro Plus. We do have some, um, 30 cents left. Pop figurines. Colonel, Colonel Mustard. Colonel. Colonel, Colonel. Ah. This imitation Yeti. Not a Yeti. Mm, these are these. But they look just like them. But these ones are from Target. Oh my gosh, Borders. I used to work at Borders. Good old days. I feel like I should almost get it. Just like a little homage. These are so fun. I think we actually have these. I'm gonna message mom and see if we have this one. You guys, this is the funniest shirt. 
It's like Snow White, but what's that? Hey guys, okay, so we are back at the house. I'm really excited to share with you guys what we ended up getting today from the Goodwill. Uh, this is kind of like a mixed bag in terms of what I ended up getting today at the thrift, but that's what I love about it. You never know what you're gonna find. The thrift will provide what it provides, and you just have to be prepared to um, find it and accept it and love it. So, uh, what I got first, uh, I have this little pack of single-use epoxy. Um, I have been thinking about doing some sort of like projects with epoxy and maybe trying it out. I never worked with it before, so I think this is gonna be a good way to kind of like wet my feet a little bit. It was 99 cents and I thought, why not? So we got this for 99 cents. Then I was very excited to find these little um, Cricut Joy pens. Um, I don't like, I think you can use this for every for Cricut Joy smart cutting machines. I think you can use them for any Cricut, but I hope we can, I'm not sure. It says Cricut Joy. I didn't even notice. So we'll see if this actually works for mom's Cricut. Hopefully it will. But this was $4.99. So I picked it up. It's three black pens because you can use the Cricut to kind of like draw designs and stuff. So this will be really, really cool for mom to be able to use. She's been looking for more accessories to go with her Cricut. So here we go. Mom's gonna love that. I actually just got her a scraper thing. I don't exactly know what it is, but I found it uh, yesterday and she was like, oh my gosh, I didn't have one of these. So she was very excited and I was excited. So anything to make mom happy is good for me. Uh, then the next thing I have is I did end up getting this cool like glass bottle. It's like the, it's like a body shape. Uh, I think it's very cool. It's like very now. Like I see a lot of things like this in terms of like candles and also like kind of vessels you can definitely use this just decoratively just as it is maybe take this thumbtack out which i will definitely be doing throwing into the trash uh or you can actually take out the cork you can put a candle in here or um you could probably put like a flower or something as well so that's really fun it's a beautiful blue color and this was seven dollars and 99 cents a little expensive but i think this is really unique and i was having trouble even locating anything like this that was online other than like they have perfume bottles that are kind of this shape but this is definitely not a perfume bottle so very excited to have found this, and that's definitely gonna be in the shop for home decor if anyone's interested. Then I found this beautiful, oh my gosh, it's so pretty, uh, Starbucks. I was like, what is this? Starbucks cup, and I feel like this is a newer style, and I love like the bubbles, the iridescence, of course, is always beautiful. It was $9.99, and yeah, a little expensive, but I think it's, it literally looks brand new. Um, I'll probably put this up in the shop as well if anyone is interested or I'm sure I will find someone in my family that will love this. So regardless, it's going to go to a good home no matter what. And it is beautiful. Ooh, iridescent. And just like staring at it. I'm like, <gasps> bubbles. How do they get those bubbles? Oh, I think that's like how they make the plastic or something. Anyway. I digress and then this is the last thing last thing I have here I got these <laughs> I, I was gonna say like Michael Kors these are um Doc Martens and they are like I think these are are they Oxford is that what the style wingtip wingtip are they Mary Janes? No, they're not Mary Janes because they have a buckle. I don't exactly know the name of this exact style, but these were $14.99. Um, these are also the ones that are made in England because I think they're also made in China sometimes. I don't know, but these are the ones that are made in England. Uh, and they're in actually a really good shape. Um, this one has like a mothball inside of it, so we're going to clean that out. But they're $14.99. I hope it's not like a spider. No, I think it's just like a mothball, like a piece of lint or something. But they're great. They're in actually really good condition. Uh, honestly, look like they've either never, never been worn or maybe worn a couple times. But the bottoms are like super duper clean. And yeah, beautiful shoes. Super excited. These are also going to go in the shop. Um, they are a size... Where is the size on these? Oh, they're on the side. Duh. They're a size 7 if anyone is interested. So 
that's gonna be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. I did go thrifting the rest of today too as well, and those videos are gonna go up throughout the rest of the week. The new one goes up tomorrow, bright and early at 7 a.m. So if you if you would like to and haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. Hit the little bell button so you're notified when every video or when every new video goes up. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next one. I love you guys so much. Adios.